Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to discuss uh, CCNA version 7 packet tracer activity, basic switch and entity device configuration. Before coming to this activity, friends, if you are watching our channel first time, or if you like to get these type of technical videos in future, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to enable that bell icon near to the subscribe button so that you will get notification message whenever we upload a new video. Also, if you need any technical support or any help, or if you like to get this packet tracer activity file, you can contact our team using our website. A link I given in the description. Now, coming back to our packet tracer activity, here we can see our addressing table uh, devices such as class A, class B. Here we can see those two switches. Also, we can see two entity devices, student 1 and student 2. Here we can see IP address and submit to mask uh, for uh, each devices. Okay, uh, in this activity, we will configure host names and IP addresses on uh, two Cisco Internet Network operating system switches using the command line interface. Then uh, we will use Cisco IOS commands to specify or limit access to device configurations. Also, we will use IOS commands to save the running configuration. Then we will configure two host devices with IP addresses. And finally, we will verify connectivity between uh, these two PCs, uh, I mean with these entity devices. Here, a recently hired LAN technician, your network manager has asked you to demonstrate your ability to configure a small LAN. Our tasks include configuring initial settings on two switches using the Cisco IIS and configuring IP address parameters on host devices to provide end-to-end -end connectivity. So you are uh, to use two switches and two house, uh, two PCs on a cabled and powered network. Yes, this is what we are going to do in this uh, packet tracer activity. Uh, here we can see the instructions configure the devices to fulfill the requirements below. Here we can see the requirements. Use a console connection to access each switch. Yes, already we uh, done uh, basic configurations, uh, also console connection with our previous uh, packet tracer activities. Hence, uh, this packet tracer activity will be uh, more easy for us. Okay, first of all, we will uh, connect our uh, switch uh, using uh, console connection. So coming to connections. Here we can see console. We will uh, select console. Then from switch class A, we will select console port to this uh, student PC, student-1. We will connect to RS232. Same way uh, we can connect class hyphen B switch uh, to our PC student hyphen 2. Here is our console cable coming to class hyphen B. We will connect to console port. Then in student hyphen 2, we will connect to RS232. This connection is obviously for the basic configuration of these uh, network devices. So next is we are going to set the host name uh, class hyphen A and class hyphen B uh, to these uh, switches. Now we will access uh, this uh, switch uh, class hyphen A using this uh, ng device PC, uh, student hyphen 1. So we will go to student hyphen 1. Then we will go to desktop and here we can see terminal. Then click OK. And here we can see now we are in switch class hyphen A. We will set the host name. We will go to uh, privilege exit mode and then we will go to global configuration mode. Enable configure terminal. Press enter. So here we are going to set the host name as class hyphen A. Then press enter. And here we can see the change in this prompt. Next, we will go to uh, class hyphen B switch. Uh, we can access using this uh, ng device student hyphen 2. 
we'll go to desktop terminal then ok press enter enable configure terminal here we are going to set the host name as class hyphen b press enter and here we can see the change in this prompt next is the use the r4xe3 so this is the password for all lines uh, that means for uh, console as well as for vty we will do that we will copy this uh, password we will uh, do in this class hyphen b okay here first of all we will go to line console 0 then we will uh, set the password here as specified it's here we already copied that then we have to give a login command now we will exit then we will go to line vty uh, 0 to we will give all the lines from 0 to 15 we will give the password it's here also we will give login now we will go to uh, class hyphen a we'll go to the sensor device oh we close that window so again we will go to terminal okay here we will go to line console 0 then we will set the password it's here we will exit and we will go to line vty all the lines 0 to 15 password it's here exit next is uh, use this password uh, c4 a j a a secret password okay so we will uh, copy this uh, password we can see it's a uh, case sensitive it's for uh, scoring purpose first of all we will do it for our uh, switch class hyphen a here we will give uh, enable secret and here is our password press enter now we will go to we will configure in a class hyphen b enable secret and here is the password now encrypt all clear text passwords so we know the command service password encryption so we will give that here service password encryption then press enter now we will go to student to one service password encryption then configure an appropriate message of the day that is MOTD banner okay that can be done we have the commands b a n n e r banner message of the day m o t d then we have to give our uh, banner we will start with the delimiter unauthorized access is uh, strictly prohibited press enter now we will do it on class hyphen b coming to entity device or terminal here we will give banner mrtd then our message warning unauthorized access is uh, strictly prohibited any message right next is configure addressing for all devices uh, for these four devices according to uh, our addressing table so here we can see our addressing table so as per our addressing table we are going to set IP address for these devices first of all we will assign IP address for uh, this uh, entity device uh, student hyphen one in our addressing table uh, we can see IP address for this entity device 
we will copy this address also we can see it's a to mask coming to student to one we will close this uh, terminal then we will go to IP configuration and here in this IP configuration we will give the IP address then it's a submit to mask so it's correct here we can see it took the default submit to mask but here we can we can see they given uh, submit to mask uh, a slash 24 just we will copy this and we will paste here so it's done now we will assign IP address for our uh, next change device so that is student hyphen 2 we will close this uh, terminal then coming to IP configuration in our addressing table here we can see IP address for this device we will copy and paste here then this submit to mask it's done next we are going to assign IP address uh, for these devices class hyphen A and class hyphen B uh, for the interface VLAN 1. We will copy the IP address of class hyphen A. Then we will go to a student hyphen 1 terminal. Okay. Now we are in a global configuration mode. We have to go to interface VLAN 1 and here we are going to set the IP address. Here is the IP address, then the sum to mask. Then we have to give a no shutdown command. Next we will do it on class hyphen B. Here we can see IP address. Coming to student hyphen 2. We will go to terminal OK. And here we will go to the interface so VLAN 1. Then we have to set the IP address as per addressing table it's here then it's something to mask then we have to give a no shutdown command so we assigned IP address for all the devices next we have to save our configurations we can do that we will press Ctrl Z so that we can go to privileged exit mode then press enter here we are going to copy R U N tab S T tab press enter okay now we will go to student hyphen 2 Ctrl Z press enter copy running config startup config okay Finally, we are going to verify connectivity between all devices. Okay, we will ping from uh, student-1 to this uh, in device, uh, student-2. We will get the IP address of uh, student-2. It's here. We will copy that. Coming to student-1, we will go to command prompt. It's working. Here they are given a note. Click check results to see your progress. Click reset activity to generate a new set of requirements. If you click on this before you complete the activity, all configurations will be lost. So whenever you open, uh, you may get uh, different uh, requirements. Uh, maybe this uh, uh, host name may changes or password changes. There will be some number of devices. We have to do all these basic configurations. Nothing else. Here in this activity, we can see our completion status. It's hundred percentage. And in this activity, we have seen a basic a switch and end device configuration. Now, dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. Also, if you like our video, give a thumb and share with all your friends. And if you like to contact our team. Uh, you can visit our website, a link I given in the description. So stay tuned and we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.